morning. But how does daylight saving time affect our children? Absolutely. So the way daylight saving time in, impacts our children has so many dimensions. First, they're losing an hour of sleep. So that already means that they may start to experience some grogginess. Our younger kids may tend to be more fussy, irritable. They may tend to have more hyperactivity. And then our teenagers may just be a little bit sleepier and crankier. So it really does impact them on the short term and even on the long term. Now, I have a four-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old, and the older one is in that prime age where you put them to bed and five minutes later they're standing next to you asking for water or the potty or an extra story or, or whatever it is. So especially after this clock change, which makes that a little bit harder, how can you help actually get them down at night? So I think the key with that, what you're saying is actually really common. We call it bedtime resistance. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they have FOMO, right? So they do not want to miss any moment of what's going on. So the key is consistency, really maintaining consistency when it comes to limit setting. So if they're coming up with multiple demands, one of the things I usually recommend is use a bedtime passes. So one or two passes to say, you have two requests and whatever those requests are, once the passes are done, they'll trade it in, they're done. And so really staying with that. And then actually children do like consistency, although they may beg to differ, but they do appreciate that. Yeah, I know the routine can be 